Also, they do take pregnancy into account. The safe limit is often based on a tiny effect in unborn rats. On top of that, the amounts allowed in sunscreens are a fraction of an amount that still shouldn't give that tiny effect, usually a hundred times less. He says no one can say with a hundred percent certainty what the effects are over many years, which is true, science doesn't really do certainty, scientists won't even say the sun will definitely rise tomorrow. But he forgot that we also aren't sure mineral sunscreens are a hundred percent safe or just sun exposure. Some of the issues with mineral sunscreens, titanium dioxide was just banned in the EU in food for potential cancer risk. It's a controversial decision. They're looking at it in sunscreen soon. Mineral sunscreens could potentially be linked to hair loss. They don't protect as well as chemical sunscreens. There's a lot of stability problems and they give a white cast. Plus, a lot of them have SPF boosters. These are modified chemical sunscreens, but not as strictly regulated, so less safe than actual chemical sunscreens. There's two in the sunscreen he recommends. Yes, you can still avoid chemical sunscreens just in case, but his video is missing a lot of important context.